Anna is gone. After days of emailing her, calling her house, and even knocking on her front door, I finally got an answer. I went over to her house today. Her car wasn't in the driveway. Also, the curtains weren't closed, so I decided to look in. I put my face against the glass and cupped my eyes with my hands. There was nothing in the living room. It was empty. I then tried to call her cell phone. It went straight to voicemail. I really hope her voicemail was not the last time that I get to hear my partner's voice. Can you imagine how that feels? I'm being left here with John, and even John is acting weird on me now. He seems withdrawn and quiet, not as chipper as he was when he first got to us. John doesn't want to do this anymore. Neither of us do. Nothing else huge has happened since my dream. I still hear knocking and sometimes quiet chuckling in the distance. I'm planning on going to my dad's house soon. I'm still trying to figure out why Stitch was acting as my dad in my dream, and why my mother didn't notice it was a monster. I can't get the sound of my mother's skin getting ripped off of her out of my head. The tearing of veins and tight skin splitting. It's driving me crazy. If I'm not listening to Stitch laughing in my head, it's all the disgusting sounds that I've I've had to hear for the past month. Bones breaking, skin ripping, guts being torn out, thrown around. Repetitive routine screams. It's always the same with gruesome sounds like that. Someone getting their neck slit. Someone smacking their head on the pavement after getting hit by a car. Somebody gurgling in their own blood after having their face bashed in. The sound is always much worse than the image. The sound is going to stick with you for your whole life. It's going to haunt you. I'll keep in touch.